lesson 120. Woohoo! Last lesson. This is on box and whisker plots. Okay, up here I have scores. All right? And there are 30 scores that we're working with. All right? So what I want to do, your very first thing that you're going to do is try to determine between what and what is this between. Well, we know it's between 56 and 96. So the best thing to do is to make this 50 and this 100. Okay? So let's do 50, 60, 70. Oh, I'm getting too close. 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, just kind of best of it. Okay, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, now, so we know it's in between 50 and 100. Now, the first thing you're going to plot on here, and you can, you can even do 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. All right, um, is you're going to plot your very least score. Now, if these were not in order, you would have to put them in order, okay? So go in and you can use your stem and leaf plot by doing that, um, which you learned, a, gosh, 30 lessons ago, something like that. So, um, so I'm going to plot 56 right here, and that is my least score. I'm going to put least score. Then I'm going to plot my most score, 95, so 96 will be right here. Highest score. Okay, now that I've plotted those, um, then you try to come up, what is the median? And hopefully you remember that when you're driving down a road, um, the middle part in the rows, this car is going this way, this car is going this way, the middle part is called the median. So middle is median, all right? So if I lay out these 30 numbers, the middle number, since there's 30, it's an even number, um, the two in the middle are going to be this one and this one. And what you do, if there's two in the middle that are the middle score, you have to take in between 83 and 85, which would be 84. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that one, and I'm going to put median right there, okay? Median score is 84. <laughs> that rhymes. Okay. So, least score, median score, and greatest or highest score. All right. Now, between the least score and the median score is what they call the first quart quartile. <laughs> I've never heard this word before in my life. Okay? It's called the first quartile. And what the first quartile is, is the median of the first half, um, the first portion between the median and the lowest, and then we'll actually find this and this. So the median between this and this is going to be these numbers. So the median between these numbers is 74. So I'm going to graph that. And remember, when you're finding median, all you're doing is, I call it the rainbow method. So you'll go like this, 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 until you get to the final number, and there it is. Okay? Um, and if you're in between two numbers, like I said, in between 83 and 85, it'll be the middle number, 84. Okay? So median is 84. Okay, so then the middle of this is 74. So that is called the first quartile, because it's um, a fourth of it. So this is 74. First quartile. I'm just going to put four, first Q. And that is a 74. All right, let's find out what the third quartile is. Okay, so hopefully you can see. Oh, let me show you that for a second. Okay, so this next one from the median to the high score, when you're finding the middle of those, it's called the third quartile. Okay? First quartile and the third quartile. All right, the third quartile is in between 84 and 96, in between this and this, which is going to be, let's go ahead and do it. Ninety. All right, ninety is our third quartile. All right. Now, 
hopefully you can see, I've got a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here, and a line here. Okay? You see that? So, one, two, three, four in between the lowest and the highest score. That's why this one's called the first quartile, first quarter. <laughs> this is a quarter of it. And then the third quarter, this would be the second quarter, third quarter, third quartile would be this section. So this would be 90. Okay, just a kind of quick explanation of that. Now, let me take off these little, because I want to explain something to you. Okay, so what they do from this point, from this score to this score, to this one to this one to this one, is they put a line on the median score. All right? And they draw a box in between the first quartile and the third quartile. And then from that, they put a dot and go to this spot like that. And then from here, they put a dot and go to this spot to here. And so what this ends up looking like is something like this. Okay? And that's why they call it box and whiskers. Box with whiskers. <laughs> box, whiskers. Okay? Just something they came up with. I guess it was pretty, pretty clever. Anyway, so that's how we come up with the box and whiskers strategy. Let's do some, one of these problems. Okay? So that one's to begin with. Let's try another one. Alright. Here's what it says. Um, All right, they give me these numbers, uh, 25, 23, 35, 33, 29, 31, 18, 21, 27, 19, and 24 and 28. And when we put these in order, because that's your very first step, you'll have 18, 19, 21, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 31, 33, and 35. Okay, that's in order. All right. Now, again, what's this in between? Um, 18 to 35, so I'm going to go 10 to 40. Okay, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then I'll go 15, 25, 35. All right, now our lowest score is 18, so I'm going to plot it as my low score, 18. Then my highest score is 35, which is over here, high score, 35. Low score 18, high score 35. All right, now remember, after you plot those, you're going to plot your median. So here we go. Let's discover our median. All right, it's in between 25 and 27. We know that's 26. So median is 26. Now, let's find our first quartile and our second or our third quartile. So now remember, this was the median, so I'm going to draw a line down the middle right here between these two. So now we're going to find the median of the first portion of um, these. So here we go, one, two, three. And that's in between 21 and 23, so the middle number, the median of that would be 22. So that's the first quartile. Let's go over here. Between 29 and 31, which is 30, so that's going to be our third quartile, okay? Now, remember, between your first quartile and your third quartile, let's want to draw a big line down the median, that's what they like to do. Um, I'm going to draw a box, okay? And then I connect my third quartile to my highest score and my first quartile to my lowest score. And then I've got a box, whiskers, all right? There we go, I just did it. All right, and then let's do one that you're actually going to have. This is what it's going to say to you for a problem, okay? And then we're done. Here's what it says. The box and whisker plot 
shows the scores made on the final exam by 150 students. Find the range, median, mode, and mean of the scores. And then describe B part as describe the distribution of the scores. All right. And it looks like by this plot, I'm going to go from 50 to 100. 60, 70, 80, 90. They have one dot here. I'm going to put little dots in between the halves. Okay. They've got one dot here. They've got another dot here. They've got a dot here. And a dot here. And a dot here. And then they've got this box. That's what they have, and they want to ask, um, find the range, median, mode, and mean of the scores. So they want us to find range, mode, uh, median, mode and mean. Okay, range is highest to lowest. So we're looking at this, our lowest score is 55. Our highest score is 100. Okay, 55 minus 100 is going to give us 45. 45 is our range. What is our median score? Okay, median, remember it's the main middle number right here. Okay, the one that has a big line through it, and it's 80. All right, mode is most often. Well, they didn't tell us what all the scores were, so this cannot be determined. Cannot be determined. And the mean, we don't know what the scores are um, on all of them, so we can't, that one also cannot be determined. So that's how you would answer that. And then it asks, uh, describe the distribution of scores. So you would just say, 55 is my least score, 100 is my greatest score, 80 is my median, 75 is my first quartile, 95 is my third quartile. Okay? So that's how we did that. 95 is here, 75 is here, and so that's how you remember this first part of the dot box is the first quartile, the last part of the box is the third quartile, the middle line is the median. All right, that is lesson 120.